The Adventures of the Phoenix Princess Chapter 4, The Crystal Caverns In the luminous kingdom of Solaria, where the magic of the sun intertwined with the land, Princess Ignicia and her faithful firebird, Flair, embarked on countless adventures. Their latest journey would take them to the mysterious Crystal Caverns, a place of awe-inspiring beauty and hidden perils. One bright morning, Ignitia stood on the castle balcony, gazing out at the horizon. Flair, perched on the railing, chirped softly, sensing his friend's contemplative mood. I've heard tales of the Crystal Caverns, Flair, Ignitia said, her eyes sparkling with curiosity. They say the caverns hold ancient crystals with immense magical power. We should explore them and see what wonders we can find. With their hearts set on the new adventure, Ignizia and Flair set off towards the mountains, where the crystal caverns were said to be hidden. The journey was long and challenging, with steep paths and rocky terrain, but Ignizia's determination and Flair's unwavering spirit kept them going. As they neared the mountains, the air grew cooler and the landscape became more rugged. The entrance to the crystal caverns was a large, jagged opening in the mountainside, glowing with a faint, iridescent light. Ignicia and Flair entered the caverns, their eyes widening in amazement at the sight before them. The walls of the caverns were lined with crystals of all shapes and sizes, their facets reflecting a dazzling array of colors. The light from Ignicia's fiery aura danced across the surfaces, creating a mesmerizing display of light and shadow. This place is incredible, Ignicia whispered, her voice echoing softly through the caverns. I can feel the magic in the air. As they ventured deeper into the caverns, the crystals grew larger and more intricate. Flair flew ahead, his feathers casting a warm glow that illuminated the path. Suddenly, he let out a warning chirp, stopping in midair. Ignicia hurried to his side, her eyes scanning the area for danger. In the heart of the caverns, they found an enormous crystal, unlike any they had seen before. It was a deep, rich blue and pulsed with a rhythmic, gentle light. Ignicia approached it cautiously, sensing a powerful energy emanating from within. This must be the heart crystal, Ignicia said, her voice filled with awe. The source of the cavern's magic. As she reached out to touch the crystal, a deep rumbling sound echoed through the caverns. The ground shook and cracks began to form in the crystal walls. Ignicia and Flair exchanged worried glances. We need to find out what's causing this, Ignicia said, determination in her eyes. They followed the sound of the rumbling deeper into the caverns, navigating through narrow passages and steep drops. Finally, they reached a large chamber where a group of earth elementals, creatures made of stone and crystal, were gathered. They seemed agitated, their movements causing the caverns to tremble. Ignicia stepped forward, her fiery aura glowing brightly. Greetings, guardians of the earth. I am Princess Ignicia of Solaria. What troubles you? One of the Earth Elementals, larger and more formidable than the others, stepped forward. Princess Ignicia, we are the guardians of the Heart Crystal. Recently, a dark force has been trying to corrupt it. We are struggling to protect it, but our power alone is not enough. Ignicia nodded, understanding the gravity of the situation. We must work together to save the Heart Crystal and restore balance to the caverns. With the Earth Elemental's guidance, Ignicia and Flair devised a plan to strengthen the Heart Crystal's defenses. Ignicia used her fiery magic to create a protective barrier around the crystal, while the Elementals focused their energy on reinforcing the cavern walls. As they worked, the Dark Force revealed itself, taking the form of shadowy tendrils that reached for the Heart Crystal. Ignicia and Flair fought bravely, their combined powers creating bursts of light and fire that pushed back the darkness. The Earth Elementals lent their strength, their stony forms standing firm against the onslaught. After a fierce battle, the last of the shadowy tendrils retreated and the heart crystal glowed with a renewed, radiant light. The caverns stopped trembling and a sense of peace settled over the chamber. We did it, Ignicia said, her voice filled with relief and triumph. The heart crystal is safe. The leader of the Earth Elementals bowed respectfully to Ignicia. You have our deepest gratitude, Princess. Your bravery and magic have saved our home. Ignicia smiled warmly. We are all guardians of this land. It is our duty to protect it. With the heart crystal safe and the caverns restored to their former glory, 
Ignicia and Flair bid farewell to the Earth Elementals and began their journey back to the castle. The path seemed easier now, their hearts light with the knowledge of their success. As they returned to Solaria, the sun setting in a blaze of colors, Ignicia and Flair felt a renewed sense of purpose. They had faced the darkness and emerged victorious, their bond stronger than ever. And so the adventures of Princess Ignicia and her loyal Firebird friend continued, each new journey bringing them closer to the heart of Solaria's magic and mysteries. For in the realm of the Phoenix Princess, every day was a new adventure, filled with wonder, bravery, and the unbreakable bond of friendship. The Adventures of the Phoenix Princess Chapter 5 The Enchanted Grove In the resplendent kingdom of Solaria, where the sun's warmth caressed the land and magic infused every corner, Princess Ignicia and her steadfast firebird, Flair, were always on the lookout for new adventures. Their latest quest would lead them to the legendary Enchanted Grove, a place said to be filled with ancient magic and hidden wonders. One morning, while exploring the castle library, Ignicia stumbled upon an old, dusty book with a worn leather cover. Intrigued, she opened it to find a map leading to the Enchanted Grove. The map detailed a path through the forest, past a series of mystical landmarks. Flair, look at this, Ignicia said, her eyes gleaming with excitement. The Enchanted Grove, we have to find it. Flair chirped enthusiastically, his feathers shimmering with anticipation. With their path set, Ignicia and Flair left the castle and headed into the forest, following the ancient map's directions. Their journey led them through lush, verdant woods and over sparkling streams. Along the way, they encountered the landmarks mentioned in the book. The Singing Stones, which hummed a melodic tune when touched. The Rainbow Falls, a cascading waterfall that reflected all the colors of the spectrum, and the Whispering Pines, trees that murmured secrets of the past. After days of travel, they finally reached the entrance to the Enchanted Grove. The grove was surrounded by a circle of ancient trees, their branches intertwined to form a natural gateway. As they stepped through the gateway, a sense of awe washed over them. The Enchanted Grove was a place of breathtaking beauty. The trees glowed with an inner light, their leaves shimmering like jewels. Flowers of every color carpeted the ground, their petals sparkling with dew. In the center of the grove stood an enormous ancient tree, its trunk twisted and gnarled with age. This was the heart tree, the source of the grove's magic. Ignicia and Flair approached the heart tree, marveling at its grandeur. As they drew closer, they noticed a faint glow emanating from a hollow in the tree's trunk. Inside the hollow, a small delicate sapling grew, its leaves shimmering with a golden light. This must be the heart tree's sapling, Ignicia whispered, the source of its power. Suddenly, a figure emerged from behind the heart tree. It was a forest spirit, tall and graceful, with hair like flowing leaves and eyes that glowed with an ancient wisdom. Welcome, Princess Ignicia, the forest spirit said in a melodic voice. I am Sylphira, guardian of the Enchanted Grove. You have been chosen to protect the heart tree's sapling. Ignicia bowed respectfully. It is an honor, Sylphira. How can I help? Sylphira's expression grew serious. A dark force seeks to corrupt the heart tree's magic. You must take the sapling to the sunlit glade, where it will be safe and can grow strong under the sun's protection. Ignicia nodded, determination in her eyes. I will do whatever it takes to protect the sapling. Carefully, she dug around the sapling's roots and lifted it from the hollow, cradling it gently in her arms. With flair by her side, she set off towards the sunlit glade, guided by Sophia's directions. The journey to the sunlit glade was fraught with danger. The dark force Sylphira had warned about manifested as shadowy creatures that lurked in the forest, trying to hinder their progress. Ignicia and Flair fought bravely, their combined powers creating bursts of light and fire that drove the shadows away. After a long and arduous journey, they finally reached the sunlit glade. The glade was a serene, open space bathed in golden sunlight, its beauty untouched by the shadows. Ignicia carefully planted the sapling in the center of the glade, ensuring its roots were secure. As soon as the sapling touched the earth, a radiant light burst forth, enveloping the glade. The dark force that had pursued them dissipated, unable to withstand the sapling's pure golden light. The heart tree's magic was safe once more. Sophira appeared beside them, her expression filled with gratitude. 
you have done a great deed, Princess Ignicia. The heart tree's magic will continue to thrive thanks to your bravery. Ignicia smiled, her heart swelling with pride and relief. It was an honor to protect the grove. With their mission complete, Ignicia and Flair returned to the castle, their spirits high. They had faced the darkness and emerged victorious, their bond stronger than ever. And so, the adventures of Princess Ignicia and her loyal Firebird friend continued, each new journey bringing them closer to the heart of Solaria's magic and mysteries. For in the realm of the Phoenix Princess, every day was a new adventure filled with wonder, bravery, and the unbreakable bond of friendship. The Adventures of the Phoenix Princess Chapter 6, The Forgotten Realm In the radiant kingdom of Solaria, where the sun's embrace kept the land warm and vibrant, Princess Ignicia and her faithful firebird Flair were renowned for their daring adventures. Their latest quest would lead them to a place long forgotten by time and hidden from the eyes of ordinary folk, the Forgotten Realm. One evening, as the sun set in a blaze of colors, Ignicia sat in the castle garden, reading an ancient scroll she had discovered in the royal archives. The scroll spoke of the Forgotten Realm, a place of incredible magic and wonder, sealed away by powerful enchantments. Intrigued by the mysteries it promised, Ignicia knew she had to uncover its secrets. Flair, Ignicia called, her voice filled with excitement. We have a new adventure ahead of us. We must find the Forgotten Realm. Flair chirped in agreement, his fiery plumage glowing in the fading light. With their path set, Ignicia and Flair prepared for the journey, gathering supplies and studying the clues in the scroll. The next morning, they set off, following the ancient map inscribed on the scroll. Their journey took them through familiar forests and across sparkling rivers. But as they ventured further, the landscape began to change. The air grew cooler and a sense of timelessness hung in the atmosphere. After several days of travel, they reached the edge of the known world, a place where the map ended and a dense, impenetrable fog began. Ignicia and Flair stepped into the fog, feeling its dampness cling to their skin and feathers. The world around them became eerily silent, and the light of the sun dimmed to a soft glow. Stay close, Flair, Ignicia said, her voice barely a whisper in the thick mist. They navigated through the fog, using the scroll's clues to guide them. Eventually, they emerged into a breathtakingly beautiful land, unlike anything they had ever seen. The Forgotten Realm was a place of lush meadows, crystal-clear lakes, and towering mountains that sparkled with a strange, otherworldly light. Flowers of every color carpeted the ground, and the air was filled with the sweet scent of blooming plants. This place is incredible, Ignacia murmured, her eyes wide with wonder. It's like a paradise hidden from the world. As they explored further, they came across a grand, ancient city, its buildings crafted from gleaming white stone and adorned with intricate carvings. The city seemed deserted, but a sense of history and magic permeated the air. Ignatia and Flair wandered through the empty streets, their footsteps echoing softly. They reached the center of the city, where a magnificent palace stood, its towers reaching towards the sky. The palace doors, made of solid gold, were slightly ajar. With a sense of anticipation, Ignicia pushed open the doors and stepped inside. The interior of the palace was just as grand, with vast halls and opulent chambers. In the heart of the palace, they found a vast throne room, its walls lined with tapestries depicting scenes of magic and heroism. At the far end of the throne room stood a figure, cloaked in shimmering light. As Ignicia and Flair approached, the figure turned, revealing a regal woman with flowing silver hair and eyes that sparkled like stars. Welcome, Princess Ignicia, the woman said, her voice melodic and filled with warmth. I am Queen Serafina, ruler of the Forgotten Realm. Ignicia bowed respectfully. Your Majesty, it's an honor to meet you. I've come to learn about this realm and its secrets. Queen Serafina smiled kindly. The Forgotten Realm is a place of great magic, hidden from the world to protect its wonders. But now, a great danger threatens both our realms. Ignicia's expression grew serious. What kind of danger? A dark sorcerer named Malachar seeks to harness the magic of the Forgotten Realm for his own evil purposes, Serafina explained. If he succeeds, both our realms will fall into darkness. Ignicia's resolve hardened. We must stop him. How can I help? To defeat Malachar, we must retrieve the Crystal of Light, 
an ancient artifact hidden deep within the Cavern of Echoes, Serafina said. With its power, we can banish the darkness and protect our realms. Ignicia nodded, determination in her eyes. We'll find the Crystal of Light. With Serafina's guidance, Ignicia and Flair set off towards the Cavern of Echoes. The journey was perilous, taking them through dense forests, across treacherous mountains, and over roaring rivers. Along the way, they encountered various magical creatures, some friendly and others not. Each challenge tested their courage and resolve. After days of travel, they finally reached the Cavern of Echoes, a vast cave system that resonated with a haunting melody. Ignicia and Flair entered the cavern, their path illuminated by the soft glow of Ignicia's fiery aura. The cavern was filled with intricate rock formations and sparkling crystals that cast shimmering reflections on the walls. As they ventured deeper, the melody grew louder, guiding them towards the heart of the cave. In the deepest chamber, they found the crystal of light, a large, multifaceted gem that glowed with a brilliant white light. The crystal was guarded by a colossal stone golem, its eyes glowing with an eerie light. Ignatia stepped forward, her fiery aura blazing brightly. We need the crystal of light to save our realms. The golem rumbled, its voice deep and resonant. Prove your worth, Princess of Solaria. Only the brave and pure of heart may wield the crystal of light. Ignicia nodded, standing tall. We will prove ourselves. The golem challenged them to a series of trials, each one testing their strength, wisdom, and bravery. Ignicia and Flair faced each trial with unwavering determination, using their unique abilities and unbreakable bond to overcome the obstacles. The final trial was a battle against the golem itself. Ignatia and Flair fought valiantly, their combined powers creating dazzling displays of light and fire. After a fierce battle, they emerged victorious, the golem acknowledging their courage and granting them the Crystal of Light. With the Crystal of Light in hand, Ignatia and Flair returned to the palace where Queen Serafina awaited them. The queen took the crystal, its light filling the throne room with a radiant glow. With this, we can defeat Malachar and save our realms. Serafina said, her voice filled with hope. Using the Crystal of Light's power, Serafina and Ignatia created a powerful spell to banish Malachar's darkness. Together, they unleashed the spell, its light spreading across the realms and driving back the shadows. Malachar's power was broken and peace was restored. Queen Serafina smiled warmly at Ignatia. You have done a great deed, princess. The Forgotten Realm is forever in your debt. Ignatia bowed humbly. It was an honor to protect this magical place. With their mission complete, Ignicia and Flair bid farewell to Queen Serafina and the Forgotten Realm. They returned to Solaria, their hearts full of pride and joy. They had faced a great evil and emerged victorious, their bonds stronger than ever. And so, the adventures of Princess Ignicia and her loyal firebird friend continued, each new journey bringing them closer to the heart of Solaria's magic and mysteries. For in the realm of the Phoenix Princess, every day was a new adventure, filled with wonder, bravery, and the unbreakable bond of friendship.